Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Hoff Bergman Explained series. Today we're going to take a look at the two sides of horses here on Hoff Bergman, version 1.0.0.8. But before we do that, this video is brought to you by Mervyn Knotts. Thank you for being a farm baron. So there are two different horse pins on Hoff Bergman, and they both have a little bit different roll. So we're going to take a look at how both of those work today. Now we're down here at the horse ranch, just across the street, basically from the shop. And we've just picked up six horses. Wanted to point out that both horse ranches and the animal dealer are areas where you're going to be able to buy and sell horses. So there's one horse ranch here, just across from the shop. And then there is a horse ranch over in the other town. Now we have to drive by the horse ranch in order to basically get to the bull area that we've already taken a look at. Now we're gonna put these horses in the larger um, horse area which is just below the sheep and goat area that we have not quite had a chance to talk about yet. And then we're going to go into the farmhouse and basically look at putting some horses in the small horse stables inside uh, the barn at the main farm. We want to back up to our icon here. The icon is going to represent where our horse loading and unloading zone is. And we're going to go ahead and put all six of these into this pin. This pin will hold a total of 16 horses. And this particular pin has both a feeding ring as well as a water trough. So we're going to want to put our hay bales into the feeding ring here. And then if we don't use the animal pin extension mod, which is what gets us these pipes, we're gonna to wanna to put our water here in this trough. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and use the animal pin extension mod to place the water pipes. And then we're going to feed our horses here in a little bit. Just want to move that out of the way. Let's run on over to the farmhouse. And if you remember from our cow video, where we talked about how we can actually buy our animals here in the kitchen. There is a laptop set up and we just come up here to this laptop, hit R and there we go. So paddock A is where we just put our horses. Then we have horse stable box B and you'll notice that it holds two horses. Let's go ahead and get one. But it says it holds two horses. Why? How is the capacity reached? Well, I'll show you here in a little bit. Just know that we can only put one horse in each of these stable. So there's one. Horse stable box A. And there's number two. So the horse stable is right through these double doors. I've already opened the doors, but the way we open the door, we've got a trigger for the bottom door on that side, a trigger for the top door on that side. And there we have our horse stable B and our horse stable A. Now if we take a look at our F1 menu, we have a little information screen down there. 
that says next animal in, and then right now it doesn't say anything. That is because these two stables are set up to allow horse reproduction. So the other stable that is or the, the other pasture area, those are normal horses. They will not reproduce. They're just normal horse area. Let's go ahead and take a look at the food requirements for these. So in paddock A, we just have our normal horses. They take water, oats, hay, or hay pellets. And then in horse stable A and B, they take oats, hay, hay pellets, and wood shavings. They don't take water, they take wood shavings. So one place to get our oats is right here. So when you start this map up on new farmer mode, there is a big bag of oats already here on this rack. And there is a wheelbarrow already here under it. So now we have a full wheelbarrow of oats. What we can do is get into our wheelbarrow by hitting E when we are behind it. And we'll just kind of wheel it up to the door here. Left click and then push your mouse up. And we are putting our oats into a food trough right there. Left click, mouse down to lower the wheelbarrow. We're gonna put it back under the oat bag. And then we're gonna do that for the other horse. Now I wanna show you how we feed our horses hay. We have two options, we could bring a hay bale into the area, or we could use loose. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a hay bale out of here. We're actually gonna take two out. There we are. We've got our Kramer already set up here. And we're going to come into the side entrance. It's going to be a bit easier to get into. And we just need to put this in front of the door. And obviously get it off the forks. Yeah, you see the capacity is now lower. So where the hay is going to go is, let me show you. Is right back there. You see where the, the horse is. There's a little bit of a rack there on the wall. You'll see that for this particular horse, it is now full of hay. So we had our hay there. Our oats show up there. Just like with any bale, you have to get it off the forks before it registers. And let's go ahead and take this over to the other horse area. I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and drop this into our feed ring. And you'll see now that it is full. We can go ahead and pick that up. And I'm just going to leave it right here. Now, if we take a look at our paddock A, you'll see that we have our food full, our water full, and basically these guys are. Good to go.
Now, what do we do about wood shavings? Are they not just wood chips? No, wood shavings are not just wood chips. They are something all on their own. And there's at least two ways to get wood shavings. One is to buy a bale of, wool, of wood shavings at the shop and use that. Another way is to go down to the carpentry shop. So let's talk about that. So if we look in the shop, under objects, under animal supplies, we have a bale of animal bedding, $45 for a thousand liters of wood shavings. And that's what wood shavings icon looks like. There is our Compressed bale of wood shavings. A really, really nice detail on this thing. 45 bucks. Okay. And I happen to have two bales of wood shavings inside here. Right there. I went ahead and picked these up earlier. Now we can, if we want to, put them in storage. So there is a storage script set up to where we could store these over here in the corner. So that's pretty cool. The way we get to that is we walk up here to the corner to the wall. It says storage place management. We have two of 24 bales of animal bedding. Hit R. And now we can basically eject the animal bedding. We're going to eject one and it spawns Kind of right behind us. And you'll see we've already got animal bedding in here. We'll just take it in here. Boom, we've got animal bedding again. And then we can just put this back over here in storage. Sorry about this. We can put this back into storage when we're done. And there you go. Now, another way to get animal bedding or wood shavings is to get it from the carpentry shop. Let me show you where that is on the map. So the carpentry shop is down here at the log cell point. They're open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. I've got a trailer already set up here with our pickup truck, and we're gonna go ahead and drive down to the carpentry shop and see about getting a bulk load of wood shavings. So instead of cutting, I'm gonna go ahead and just drive down here so you can see how to get there. Take our cover off. And you can actually buy two different commodities down here at the carpentry shop. You can buy wood shavings or you can buy wood chips. Depends on where you are. So we want to pull on in here. And there are two dump triggers here. It's just going to have five and you'll see there are two dump stations. The front one, or the first one you come to, Right there is going to be our wood shavings. The second one you come to, we want to make sure that we're not in the first one, is wood chips. Okay? So let's back up and get back into our wood shavings. So we have 10,750 liters of wood shavings for $440. So right around a thousand um, liters of wood shavings for 40 bucks. They're about. So there really isn't that big of a discount 
in buying wood shavings in bulk. Once you're going to see kind of what's involved with dealing with wood shavings, you just might decide you're just going to buy them as prepackaged bales from the shop. Because obviously getting getting a trailer back in there is going to be difficult unless you use something small like the John Deere trailer, which is included with the map right here. Perfect to use with the little uh, little gator or some other small tractor. But what we're going to demonstrate is another really interesting aspect of this map and that is this bagger which again is available down at the shop so if we go to production equipment we have the bagging master eighty four hundred dollars holds six thousand liters and you'll see it takes wood shavings amongst potatoes wood chips wheat barley corn oats canola then we have like a straw, pig food, soybeans, seed, compost, lime, and fertilizer. So I honestly do not know if this is going to work. Tip side right. When I tested this earlier, I had to use a, um, a trailer, or not a trailer, but a bucket. just unload a little bit and we'll go ahead and grab a bucket like I said and I'll show you how this all works so again if you want to buy your wood shavings in bulk I do believe we're going to need our wood shavings for the chickens also You don't want to basically we're gonna need to dump them into the spout here. Okay. Well, as opposed to fighting with this thing anymore, let me show you how it works. This thing holds 6,000 liters. So we'll go up here and we'll hit E to enter. We'll hit B to enable pallet creation. And you'll see that we are now making bags of wood shavings. And 200 liters per bag. I was kind of hoping we would make a nice bale like we can buy at the shop. But you can see we get little bags of wood shavings. Now, if there is a place to store these, I've not found it here on the farm. 
I would be very interested to know if someone else knows where you might be able to store those little bags of wood shavings. Wait, I do want to check. Sorry. I wanted to check this. That is if I can place this inside here or not. Okay, cool. I can't. All right, so it shows it up as a bale, but if I eject one, what do I get out? I get a bag out. Okay, cool. So that answers that question right there. So we can store 24 big bales or bags of wood chips in that storage rack. Now there's one other way, one other, other, one other, other, one other way to basically set up for wood chips and to basically put them in bags. And that is to use our big bag maker. So we're going to go ahead and dump some more on the ground. And then we need to put this into the hopper up here. Sadly, the little Kramer won't reach this high. I'm just using the John Deere, that was part of the starting equipment. And once we have placed some product into this thing, we're going to walk up to it. We're going to hit E to enter the big bag maker. And we're going to hit B to enable pallet creation. And you'll see that it is now filling a big bag of wood shavings. This is going to hold 2,000 liters. And once it has 2,000 liters in it, it will cut off. And then we could take this if we wanted to and probably store it over in that area also. Let's go ahead and try. It's going to enable super strength to make this easier. Indeed, we can store it. Go ahead and eject it. So we have our big bag of wood shavings out again, 2,000 liters. And we could take this and actually place it over top of this spout. If we wanted to. And then it would dump into there. So that's kind of another easier way to get things into the bagging master. So now that we have fully satisfied all of the needs of both horses, we're going to go ahead and fast forward time a little bit. And what we should see, there we go. So we can see that we now are going to get our new horse in 149 hours. Now this one is going to give us a new horse in, we don't know yet. Let's speed it up a little bit. 131 hours. 
Okay, so 131, 149. The way this animal reproduction script works, or the horse reproduction script works, is that it's going to be a kind of a variable time. There's no fixed amount of time that it's going to take between horses being reproduced. Um, so you've got 130, 145. So what we're going to do now is basically fast forward until we get our new horse. So I'll meet you in a couple days. So you see, we're gonna get a new animal in just under 14 hours. Now, something else to show you here is in these two stalls, horses do produce manure. We will have to clean it up. So how do we clean it up? Well, we use our wheelbarrow. Let's empty out our oats. And the easiest way to use our wheelbarrow is to just Come up here and we hit left control Y and we'll activate the bucket. And then we just drive up and well, pick it up. Once we have it full, we can take it out here to this little area. And dump it. Again, we take a wheelbarrow, we walk up here, we do left control Y to initiate the bucket or the shovel. Left control Y will turn the shovel off. and we can clean out our horse pens. Now, this particular horse is gonna reproduce in 31 hours and 15 minutes. Again, this one is just a shade under 13 hours in 45 minutes. Let's go ahead and make use of our little shavings bag here. We're gonna take it in here, and there we go. Let's fast forward time and, uh, well, see our baby horse get made here. Three hours, two, There's our new horse. So our original horse was Zach, and now we have Light. Take a look here. You're gonna see that Zach has a value of $8,000. Light has a value of $3,131. Something else that's really cool is our horses have a nice kind of sleep animation here on this map. So late at night, they will rest and go to sleep. And they'll do that in both areas, attic A and the others. Okay. Now let's just go ahead and There we are. Let's go ahead and sleep on till morning. And then we'll talk about what we do with this new horse. All right, so 6.47 a.m. We have a new foal. That's what they're called, right? Foals. 
We have a new foal down here in the uh, horse stable. And uh, what do we do with it? Well, we can't rightly leave it here because we are at two of two. We won't have any more horse reproduction because we're full. We're going to have to empty it out, right? So the next horse in 10 hours for that one. So how do we get the horse out? Well, I tried to basically take this horse and ride it over to paddock A to put it in paddock A. That didn't really work. Okay. So I've got a horse trailer here. And I want to show you basically what we do with respect to getting the horse out of the, um, the horse stable. Couldn't remember where I left my truck. So what we want is a little horse trailer. We can't use the big horse trailer or the big animal trailer because it just won't fit in the door there. So we have to use our little two horse horse trailer. And if we back it into the stable here, you're gonna see that as we get to the horse door, we do get the trigger to unload. So there we go. Now we have Light and Zach. So we're going to unload Light. Or sorry, Zach. And now we can take this horse over to Paddock A if we want to. We can take this horse to the animal dealer and sell it if we want to. We can take this horse to either horse ranch and sell it if we want to. We could even, if you were willing to, take this horse up to the slaughterhouse and, uh, well, submit it for processing, so to speak, if you wanted to. So we'll go ahead and put light in here. There we go. So now this area has seven horses as opposed to six. Then of course we can keep continuing to ride our horses, keep them fed and everything. And then basically once enough days have passed, we can uh, sell him for a tidy little profit. So guys, that is it. That is horses in a nutshell here on Hoff Bergman version 1.0.0.8. Let me know in the video, enter in the comments, what you thought of the video. Did this help answer any questions you had about horses here on Hoff Bergman? Uh, if there's anything I missed, please go ahead and put that also down in the comments because man, oh man, there is a lot going on on this map and it is pretty darn easy to miss things. So until next time, happy farming.